Welcome back guys to my let's play of Fatal Frame Maiden of the Black Water. My name's Aaron. Let's get started. So last time we had a crazy interaction with a bunch of, I guess, maiden ghosts that ended up making like a ring around the rosy kind of bullshit around me. And I, I really don't know what I was doing wrong. I don't know if they just kept spawning or maybe I was supposed to run, but I mean, I ended up killing them all, but it's very stressful. Not start this again.
Damn, just give me the key, Jesus. the Vild house earlier. The Veiled house. It's <laughs> Vild. <laughs> Let's go in. There is a particular custom in this country. It varies from region to region, but the root is the same. It is mysterious, yet somehow beautiful. In order to understand it, I've traveled across the country before settling on this mountain. The beauty of the morning dew, the palpable heartbreak of the sun, setting behind the mountain, and the grave and solemn night that envelops it. On the mountain, water itself is revered, but why? To try and understand this, I have made the mountain my home. To try to point me to here, there's something. Okay. Stupid hand. Just want the dang item.
again, how is there electricity and everything when this place has been abandoned for so many years? I wonder if that was the ghost of the girl that was in that original video. So when that little flower for the black water meter fills up, it's more likely every time I grab for an item, I'm going to get grabbed by one of those stupid hands as long as that meter's up. But since we've got an ember, there we go, maybe that'll help. I feel like the difficulty like, went through the roof, just ramped. 
ramped up real quick here. Try to zoom in. Yeah. Postmortem phot photography made its way over from the west along with the spread of the camera. When photography was still rare, images of the deceased helped the surviving family members deal with their grief. The postmortem photographs that still exist in Japan use the same method method methodology as their Western counter counterparts, but the significance seemed to differ. Those taken here in Mount Hakami region, especially, seem to embody a certain melancholic beauty. I believe these photos were the work of a scientist named Kanikio Aso, having researched photos from other areas as well. It seems he was the one behind many of them. His surviving records indicate a determination to use photography to capture the soul. Seeing these strange and captivating photographs, I've come to believe he had some degree of success in doing so. An old friend of mine used to call cameras lonely boxes. I'm not sure if he meant that subject appears trapped alone in this dark box when viewed through the viewfinder, or that looking through the viewfinder meant peering out through the dark all alone. At any rate, I find those words have a certain resonance. Okay. waters of this mountain are beautiful. A large volume of water flows from a lake at the summit, becoming rivers and waterfalls and em enveloping the mountain in mist. Water covers everything. It is, it is the source of the mountain's beauty, as well as its sense of mystery. According to local tradition, Mount, Hak Mount Hakami is where one could die a proper death. 
It has long been considered a spiritual spot, a subject of much worship, making it a righteous destination for those seeking death. The Mount, Hik the Mount Hikami sect taught that upon dying, people return to water. Here on the mountain, water is considered the source of the soul. A person's soul is then said to return to water upon death, rather than moving on to an afterlife. Those ready for death would gather at the mountain and return their lives to the water. Water connects everything. To look at the scenery, I can understand how it has become a spiritual place, a place fit for passing from this world. I'm glad I came here. The people in this mountain have a yearning for death. That is to say, they have a yearning for water and a yearning for nature. Life and death are both connected to water. I saw the silhouette of a shrine maiden from within the mist that envelops the mountain. With great care, she made her way slowly up the mountain. Something about her seemed somehow unnatural. I've been told there are no more shrine maidens on the mountain now. Long ago, many maidens were murdered here. Perhaps they, return, perhaps they returned to the water. Would that then imply that they are trapped within the mist? It is said that human sacrifices once practiced throughout this region. Rather than returning people to the water upon death, the ritual involved placing so-called pillars and special reliquaries and sending them to the water while still alive. It was the role of the shrine maidens to become such pillars. They would take on the memories of the dying and thereafter return to water themselves. In doing so, it was believed the subjects would continue living on as pillars. In Japan, there was once a sect of Buddhists, Buddhist monks who would in, enter themselves in boxes buried underground for the sake of enlightenment. These monks were said to show they were still alive by ringing bells and chanting. This practice may be related, well, you know, whatever floats your boat or sinks your battleship. Or whatever tickles your dick. I mean, I wouldn't be putting myself in a box and ringing a damn bell. That's for sure. But what did the maidens who became pillars fear or hope to appease? There are various teachings in Japan about where the afterlife, also known as the netherworld or the hereafter, is located. Some teachings say it is above the mountains or across the sea where others claim it lies underground, within the very earth itself. Here on the mountain, it is said to lie within the water, implying a close link between water and death. The pillars within these reliquaries would be in a place close to death, but would go on living. Perhaps it was the special reliquaries that allowed them to evade death and continue living, frozen in time. It is thought that perpetrate Perpetrate. Ooh. Um, I don't know what that is. These pillars allow those close to death to live longer lives. In a sense, it was believed that prox proximity to death helped develop the resistance to it. Ren. Yes, Rui? What is it, boy? Damn, he's stuck in a well. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in 
here though. Oh, locked. I guess we're gonna go to where the muffled voice is coming from. Do it, Rui. Ooh. Oh, come on now. The fact that it takes so long, just freaking pop your head up there. I don't understand so spent. Damn. Kami seems to have been both revered and feared as a mountain of death, where only those prepared to die may enter, and those who visit it were never allowed to leave. Visitors to the mountain had to pass through the shrine grove at the foot of the mountain, where shrine maidens kept strict watch and allowing only the qualified, that is, the dying, to enter. Today the shrine at this grove has been rebuilt as an inn whose innkeeper kindly let me borrow records of the time period. The records from the shrine's final year list one individual who was able to leave the mountain alive. Kunihiko Aso. After taking his postmortem photograph, it seems he was invited to the mountain to photograph the maidens. I've heard his research into the hereafter allowed him to develop a special camera. If I could see the photos of the Shrine Maidens taken with a special ca camera, I'm certain I could come closer to unraveling the mysteries of Mount Hakami. When invited to the mountain, it is said he was allowed into a house, visited only by a select few individuals. If I were invited to the mountain, would I be able to reach this place too? I truly wish I could. We'll get about a good 30 minutes. Let's get out of here. We going out the back. Could be taking some pictures, my boy.
Oh, thank you. Be good. Calm down, my guy. this house. I must hurry. On the way to the summit, I found a photo on a small path lined with spider lilies. The path seemed to head into the forest, but it has become overgrown and is unpassable. Could it lead to that mansion that only the invited can find? It is different from other post-mortem photographs. I can only describe it as being beautiful. It had a beauty and a sadness unlike the others I've seen. Was she alive? As soon as I thought how beautiful she, beautiful she was, I was bound. I heard whispers of love from the photograph. They were the words of a curse. Love after death. I must go to that place. My heart has been captivated.
Let's not have any more of that. got an achievement for how much how many atoms I've been using. Thank you for dying. Figure out which direction I was going in now. Anything in the box? Nope. Item though. 
going to have my shiny. And again, this mountain has been abandoned. But we got damn rail carts with electricity coming to them. <sighs> Whatever. Or maybe only certain parts of the mountain have been abandoned, but still. Ren and Rui set out to find the folklore's house, relying on clues from a video recording. As they passed through the shrine of dolls, the white-haired girl from Ren's dream appeared. She asked why he didn't bring her token, then vanished. Ren and Rui arrived at the veiled house, where they discovered several Kijiwatara's writings on the customs and beliefs surrounding Mount Hakami. They escaped the house, only to see it vanish in a thick veil of mist. Alright, that's the end of that chapter, so we're going to call it here. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time.